My name is Joyce Rono. Uh, I'm still young, I'm a youth, but uh, uh, we thank God this far because of the farm. My name is Joseph Rono and uh, welcome to our farm. Our farm is called uh, Joiro Farm. Uh, we started, I think it's almost two years now since uh, we started this farm. And uh, the main motiva uh, motivator for starting this farm here in Nairobi was uh, one, uh, to be accessible to very quality milk, uh, first of all for own consumption and even for the neighborhood uh, who, who really uh, li like a, a lot uh, of quality milk. At Joiro Farm, some of the sustainable practices, uh, farming practices that we, we do include, uh, uh, we make our own silage, we plant our own maize at home, we process the, 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 the silage itself until it is in a, in a complete form. So by the time we are bringing from Nakuru, it's already done. So it reduces uh, the workload for our, our workers, so it becomes easy. Another thing is that uh, we plant hay and we, we sell hay also. So in that order, it makes our work easier. So the moment we remain uh, with hay which is not sold, the surpluses, we bring it to the farm. And then of course, other than that, a lot of our neighbors, especially the ones, uh, many of them who consume our milk, uh, they, get, they get our cow dung for free. We don't sell it because we believe that essentially should be a CSR uh, activity. And uh, many neighbors have really uh, liked uh, that arrangement because uh, when we started this farm, many people used to buy uh, vegetables, especially our neighbors. But nowadays, uh, all of them grow their own vegetables. So you can see one way they're able to get fresh produce from their own kitchen gardens uh, uh, here. We have a very robust a waste uh, management uh, system which we have put in place. Uh, the first one is uh, uh, where we use the solid waste, first of all for biogas, that indeed reduces a lot of uh, carbon emission. Uh, the second one, of course, the liquid waste which comes uh, f f from the animals, uh, that is the, the, the urine. We basically, we've dug a, a septic tank where we store it. And then of course when you store it and insulate it, it's able to go through a digestive system, uh, which the end product, that is another very good uh, organic uh, manure uh, that we use it for our crops. We have a big kitchen garden uh, with all vegetables uh, there. Uh, so we never use fertilizer at all. So we use uh, cow dung for that particular purpose. In social, in social economic uh, terms, we, when, while we sell our milk to, to, to our customers, they also get uh, manure for free. And uh, we are planning to install biogas, a big one, which, we can, uh, which it can supply us with the electricity. We sell uh, milk, pasteurized milk, which come from the farm. So that's a source of uh, revenue for us. Uh, of course, uh, other than that, um, we also sell, occasionally sell uh, heifers uh, to other farmers who may be interested in uh, going to keep them. And then we also do a lot of training. We get a lot of uh, farmers who, who visit our farm. Uh, many of them, of course, are already doing farming. Others are planning to start. So we do a lot of uh, training. Uh, to many of these potential and uh, uh, current farmers, so they are able to borrow a lot of knowledge uh, which we've gained uh, over many years uh, from, from, farm, from this farm. Uh, of course, other than that, uh, this particular farm has around five employees, so we've created uh, employment for Kenyans. We have five employees uh, here in, in, in Nairobi, and then in Nakuru, where we get most of our feeds, we have another group of around six employees who grow things like hay, uh, we have machineries there, uh, so we get uh, all our things to do with silage, uh, we get them from Nakuru. So we have a pool of another six employees who basically handle uh, that, those operations.
Okay, some of the feeds that we give uh, our animals, uh, one is uh, boma rots. Uh, so what we do, we grow boma rots in Akuru, we harvest them uh, by baling it using a hay uh, baling machine. Uh, and then the other thing which we feed our animals is silage. So we again grow maize in uh, Nakuru. Once they are mature, we harvest them and uh, uh, crush them. And of course, uh, 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 we, we get uh, silage out of it. So that is part of the feeds which we feed our animals. We also grow sunflower. That is a rich source of uh, protein. Uh, so once we harvest uh, the sunflower, uh, of course, we crush it and then it becomes part of the ration which we feed our cows. And then, of course, other than that, we have a small portion of Lausanne. Uh, so on a daily basis, uh, when they are preparing a complete uh, food ration for the cows, we also combine it uh, with Lausanne. What makes Joiro Farm uh, unique? Uh, and if you walk around within the neighborhood, they'll tell you, number one, the quality of milk we produce is a very high quality, very high quality milk. In fact, many of our customers, uh, they'll tell you that I took your milk six months ago. Uh, I started taking your milk uh, six months ago and the quality has consistently remained uh, the same. So that's part of it. And the reason why we've been able to achieve that quality is uh, majorly because we've gotten a lot of assistance from Kenya Dairy Board. Uh, they've given us a lot of uh, extension uh, services which has helped us uh, improve first of all in terms of the quality of feeds, uh, even the quality of animals, helping us to identify the animals which are uh, high yielding and those ones which are probably ripe for culling. So we've been able to do that until uh, an extent where we've been able to optimize on production and again maintain very, very good quality. Of course, other than that, what also helped us on the quality is that we've mixed uh, breeds. If you look around, we have ashers, we have uh, freshans, which are quite many. Uh, we also have jersey. Uh, when you get milk from those uh, uh, three breeds, number one, uh, freshan will help you achieve quantity. Jersey and asher will help you get good uh, 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 fat content. So when you mix that, you get very good uh, quality milk. So I want to uh, maybe encourage young farmers or uh, young entrepreneurs who are willing and who have support to do this. Uh, I think to us, it has really saved a lot of uh, cost. It reduces the, the cost, especially in the house, where you don't buy milk, you don't buy uh, vegetables because of the manure. There is reduction even in the usage of uh, gas. You see now you use LPG for a short time while you have another, another source of, uh, of, of gas. So, so far so good. We can say that uh, the farm is growing and uh, we are looking forward to increase the production, even up to 400 liters to, to cut the demand of the estate.